Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a La Palma eruption update. Well, Wednesday, September 22nd, around 10 a.m. Mountain Time, 2021. The volcano continues to erupt in Spain's Canary Islands. The latest update, last night's activity noticeably increased from the second vent, and that is a little further southwest of the original vent. Uh, that vent had opened up the day before and quickly has become the main vent. Lava fountains of several hundred meters in height, as well as large exploding lava bubbles, were observed last night. The noise level of the eruption also increased. And yesterday, spectacular fountains occurred up to 10,000 feet, and that was reported by the Volcanic Ash Advisory Center in Toulouse. And they warned about a plume that rose 10,000 feet altitude. The flight level currently at orange. La Palma's volcanic update. Now, the first lava samples have been studied, and volcanologists published the first image of the basaltic lava from the current eruption in La Palma. Now, the lava is a basaltic composition containing a phenocryst of plagioclase and pyroxene. This is very common. Um, low viscosity lava, similar to that in Hawaii. So it should be moving much quicker than it is, but it's cooling quite rapidly, and it is now encountering flatter areas near the coast where it's spreading out laterally. So it's going to take a while to actually get to the ocean, it appears. Now we're coming to look at earthquakes at uh, versus depth here in time, and you can see just moments ago we just had a few quakes here, uh, three or four kilometers uh, that's just indicative of an ongoing eruption, but there is no uptick. This is the uptick yesterday that opened that new vent, and so we see nothing in the future today, just an ongoing eruption, which we are looking at live here. And those two earthquakes may signal a little uptick in the lava fountaining here. This is a Strombolian eruption, which makes me hungry every time I talk about it, but that means that there's effusive spraying lava, and it's quite spectacular in the evening. So links to the live stream below. One other note before we go, in case you missed it over at Oppenheimer Ranch Project, last night's update, the largest earthquake in Victoria's history occurred yesterday, a 5.9 earthquake that struck Melbourne. The mainstream is trying to poo-poo this as a non-event and being just the largest earthquake in five years in Australia. But for this region, it is the largest earthquake ever recorded in modern history. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Thank you to all of our new subscribers. Welcome to Magnetic Reversal News. And just a quick update to bring you up to speed on the things you need to know. We love each and every one of you. Be safe. And that's a boom. <laughs>